Back in 2008, one of my earliest cooking videos was a video for chocolate self-sourcing pudding. Unfortunately, back then, I didn't really know what I was doing with the camera, wasn't very good with editing, and so it wasn't really my best work. So today, I am recreating it from scratch using all my new equipment. So let's make a prettier version of my chocolate self-sourcing pudding on the One Pot Chef. <laughs> self-sourcing pudding. Now this is lots of fun and very easy to do. In my big mixing bowl I've got one and a half cups of self-raising flour. Now if you can't get self-raising flour where you live or you just don't have any, you can use plain flour and add in one and a half teaspoons of baking powder. I'm also adding in two tablespoons of cocoa powder. Add a little bit more if you want it a bit more chocolatey. In fact, I think I will. <laughs> half a cup of sugar. One egg. 50 grams of butter, which I have just melted in the microwave, about two tablespoons, and one cup of milk. And using a wooden spoon, we're just gonna mix all this together until we have a nice smooth batter. That's looking gorgeous, so let's transfer this into our baking dish. I've lightly greased our baking dish with a little bit of canola cooking spray. You could just wipe it over with a little bit of soft butter if you like, and just pour the batter in and just spread the batter over so it's nice and even. In a mixing jug, I've got one and a half cups of boiling water fresh out of the kettle. And to that, I'm going to add in half a cup of sugar and two tablespoons of cocoa powder. And just mix that together until smooth. And just pour the hot chocolate mixture over the top of the pudding. Now what's going to happen is when we put this into the oven, the pudding underneath will rise up and the sauce will sink down and condense into this beautiful chocolate sauce. So we're going to pop this into a hot oven, 180 degrees Celsius for about 30 to 35 minutes or until the pudding has firmed up on top. Then we'll be ready to serve. Our chocolate self-sourcing pudding is fresh out of the oven, so let's scoop some out and serve it up. Let's have a taste. Mmm, still hot. <laughs> Yum. Very chocolatey, lovely spongy cake. And you've got that beautiful sauce, and I've just popped a bit of that over the top there. It's all beautiful and saucy underneath. I have another bite. Mmm. -mm. It's not overly sweet, which is really good because it brings out the flavour of the chocolate. But if you want something a little sweeter, feel free to add a bit more sugar to the sauce mixture. Absolutely fantastic. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this recipe. Check out my other videos at onepotchefshow.com. And until next time, see you later.